Hey guys, this is a quick demonstration of the Nautocam uh, DSLR camera housing system. This is for the uh, Canon 6D and uh, hence that it's a little bit bigger because that's a full frame camera. Um, normally the housing itself would be just slightly smaller. Uh, what you see here is what you get when you buy a DSLR housing. It comes like this out of the box. Um, I'm not going to go through all the detailed operations, uh, just the general architecture of a Nautocam housing. Um, <clears throat> what you see here is uh, is uh, all the different buttons that are really well thought of. Nautocam uh, has uh, thought all the buttons through so that they uh, are placed where you need them as an underwater photographer and not uh, where they are on the camera. So that means the inside of a Nautocam housing is really complex. I mean, there's a lot of levers and uh, as you see, it's quite complicated on how uh, the buttons are being operated. Um, but it's very easy to take on and off. Let's see, this is how you mount the camera. You take off the tray, you mount the camera and it goes straight in here. You lock it and you're ready to close it. And it's really as simple as that. You see in the top here that you have the arm balls. Uh, it's possible to add extra arm balls like this here and here. Um, if you do that, you can mount a lanyard, which will enable you to uh, use it as a carry handle. And that's really, uh, that's really smart when you're traveling with your housing or out diving with it. What you see in the top here is a couple of extra outlets. This is the uh, five pin outlets for normal flash cabling. Uh, and there's two fiber uh, cables. What you can do here, you can unscrew uh, these ones and you can mount either um, an HDMI um, outlet on the inside. Uh, if you want to use a monitor, external monitor, um, you can plug it in here or you can get one of the new vacuum pump systems and uh, um, use that for extra security of your housing. Um, that's quite clever as well. Um, the only thing you want to do now, once you mounted the camera, is to put a port on it. And if you have a wide angle, you can use one of the really huge ports, like the 8.5 millimeter or inch um, acrylic dome ports, or one of the smaller ones. They have mini domes as well. Or you can mount a macro system all the nice macro ports from Nausicaam has an M67 thread here, which makes them beautiful for um, additional lenses uh, and do ultra macro. So it's really as easy as this, plugging it on like that, locking it here, and you see you need to, you need to push that one down in order to, to get it up again. And then the housing is ready to go 200 meters. As mentioned, you can do ultra macro and you can add extra uh, wet lenses here, either the SUBC or uh, Nautocam's own SMC lenses. Um, if you want to use flash, as mentioned, you can use the normal cable or you can use the uh, fiber optics. Uh, most people do that today. On the DSLR housings, Nautocam has a special cable here and it's really nice and it's working very well. And you can see it's really maneuverable and it doesn't come off. The problem is, of course, when this one breaks uh, and you need a new one, these ones don't come cheap uh, as the more standard uh, CNC L types do. Normally you have one of these and when you plug this one in, it will of course fit uh, in the end of your normal standard flash. So that's it guys, that's the overall architecture of an Autocam housing. Um, this one is waiting for a customer already, so I'm sure he's going to be looking forward to getting it tomorrow. If you want your own, uh, don't hesitate to contact me to look into your needs or drop me an order. Take care.